This episode of WISBusiness.com, the show, is brought to you by Grant Thornton, White Hirschbeck Dudek, Madison Gas and Electric, and the University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee. Hi, I'm Liz Shrum for the Wisconsin Technology Council, here with WISBusiness.com, the show. On today's show, Tom Still talks about Curiosity landing on Mars and Wisconsin's expertise in space exploration. And Remus Beneficis talks about Row Wheels, the grand prize winner in the 2012 Governor's Business Plan Contest. And now, here's the WISBusiness.com stock report for mid-August 2012. Rising, Pinstripe. Human resources services firm Pinstripe, headquartered in Brookfield, has been acquired by Excel KKR, a private equity firm based in Menlo Park, California. Terms of the deal were not disclosed, but company CEO Sue Marks said she and her firm will stay with Pinstripe and the company will continue to grow in Wisconsin. Pinstripe has about 450 employees, including 300 in Wisconsin. Pinstripe helps companies find, assess, interview, and hire new employees, often using social networking technology. Baird Venture Partners and the State of Wisconsin Investment Board were early investors in Pinstripe. And falling, manufacturer confidence. Manufacturers remain concerned about economic uncertainty and are proceeding with caution, if at all. That's according to a new survey by Clifton Larson Allen, a Milwaukee accounting firm. Economic conditions, healthcare costs, new taxes, and flat or declining sales are areas of concern. About 63% of small and mid-sized manufacturers said they are delaying major initiatives, and almost half of all respondents have delayed hiring new employees. Four-fifths of survey takers expect the Health Care Reform Act to have a negative effect on their business. Tom Still is next with his Inside Wisconsin commentary. What has made Grant Thornton one of the largest accounting organizations in the world, with resources in more than 100 countries worldwide? Is it their global capabilities, or is it their passion for how they serve their clients? Grant Thornton. The pinpoint landing of the Curiosity rover on Mars, where it will meander across 12 miles of the red planet's surface over the next two years, has revived interest in the exploration of our solar system and beyond. Unlocking those secrets and learning how it affects our planet is a job that Wisconsin researchers and companies are well equipped to handle. The state's aerospace research base has global credentials. The UW-Madison Weather Satellite Center is the leading source of satellite weather data in the world. The UW-Madison College of Engineering has long-standing ties into NASA and space exploration. That includes its Wisconsin Center for Space Automation and Robotics and its work around development of helium-3 energy technologies. The Madison campus also has a Space Science and Engineering Center as well as a highly rated astronomy department. The UW-Madison is also home to the IceCube project. Completed in late 2010 at the South Pole, IceCube is the world's largest neutrino observatory. It was built at the cost of $271 million over 10 years to find extremely high energy neutrinos. Those are tiny subatomic particles originating from supernova explosions, gamma ray bursts, and black holes. Scientists believe it will greatly expand knowledge of astrophysics and dark matter. Space R&D expertise is spread across the state. UW Green Bay researcher Eileen Yingst the director of the Wisconsin Space Grant Consortium is the deputy principal investigator for the Curiosity Mission's hand lens imager camera. That's an instrument so powerful it can return images of individual grains of sand on the planet's surface. Researchers at UW Stout, UW Oshkosh, UW Platteville, and UW Milwaukee are also engaged in aerospace R&D through projects as diverse as rocket fuel propellants to sensors to even clothing. An example of a successful private contractor with NASA is Orbital Technologies of Madison, which has won more than $150 million in grants and contracts over time. It's a prime example of R&D yielding products and jobs. Look for the data sent home by the Curiosity rover to be examined by scientists in Wisconsin who will help analyze what it means to people on Earth. From the dawn of the space program in the 1960s until now, Wisconsin scientists and astronauts have played a major role. Who knows? Maybe there's a bit of badger red on the red planet. Thanks, Tom. I'll be right back with Remus Beneficius, co-founder of Row Wheels and Mad Accelerator, a business accelerator in Madison. 
White Hirschbeck Dudek represents companies at all stages of development and in a wide range of industries to navigate the legal challenges of regional, national, and global growth. At WHD, every stage takes center stage. I'm back with Remus Beneficius, co-founder of Row Wheels, winner of the grand prize in the 2012 Governor's Business Plan Contest. Thanks for joining us, Remus. Thank you, great to be here. What is Row Wheels and why is it a potential game changer for people in wheelchairs? Well, Row Wheels is a replacement wheel for manual wheelchairs. The traditional wheel uh, requires you to push on the hand rim and that actually is an inefficient process. Row Wheels allows you to pull and if you notice the wheel is actually rotating in the other direction and this is a much more biomechanically efficient way to go. Uh, you're using your big muscles, your biceps, your back muscles, your lats and traps, and researchers for a long while have said that this is the best way to actually work a wheelchair and uh, move in a wheelchair. However, uh, we haven't uh, been able to produce this economically until we've gotten to some of the latest manufacturing techniques that are out there. And so we're hoping to get this product out to market uh, at the end of this year and feel that it's going to be a very good product for a lot of the uh, wheelchair sufferers out there. And how did you get the idea? Uh, the in invention was actually uh, d uh, an invention of Salim Nasser, who's a NASA engineer down in Florida, and he's been working on this starting with his graduate studies about, oh, 10 years ago, and he's been a labor of love for him to get this product to market. Uh, we hooked up about a year ago. Uh, I gave him a little bit of my background. I actually ended up in a wheelchair last year for the first time, and so through serendipity, we kind of found each other, and um, through uh, uh, the business acceleration process that we have with Mad Seller, we're able to get this product out to market and uh, we're looking to manufacture this towards the end of this year. You've won the Governor's Business Plan Contest, so what are the next steps for the company? Uh, right now we're in heavy duty business uh, growth mode. We are in manufacturing uh, stage right now, building our tooling for the product. We'll be launching the product in October at a medical trade show down in Atlanta. We're ramping up our marketing and website and video promotion side and also starting to put the feelers out for employees as we uh, anticipate building out a manufacturing facility and such and getting this product to market. So uh, we're very busy. We've got really uh, everything going on in terms of all the tenets of a startup and it's very exciting. Thanks Remus and thank you for watching this edition of WISBusiness.com, the show. The show is produced by WISBusiness.com and the Wisconsin Technology Council and sponsored by Grant Thornton, White Hirschbeck Dudek, MG&E, and UW-Milwaukee. Visit our websites to read and learn more. I'm Liz Schrum of Talentfoot Executive Search. See you next time.